we turn our attention to what's going on in the marketplace, particularly when it comes to security, terrorism, espionage, and sometimes when we're before court, lying on the oath. Uh, Todd Mickelson has this new product called Caveras. It's not new to the marketplace. It's been out for about six years. Todd, welcome to um, this edition of Your Voice, Your Future, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tell, tell us a little about Converis and how it, how it works with uh, the lie detector, how it may work with COVID-19 and other areas of security as it relates to the world, because it's already being used in other parts of the world and in certain aspects of the federal government here in the United States. Yes. So Converis is a company that produces a next generation lie detector. Uh, the product is called iDetect. And unlike a traditional lie detector, iDetect is a computer-based lie detector that analyzes changes in your eyes while you take a short, simple computer-based test. And by analyzing those changes, it can determine with a high degree of accuracy whether or not you're being honest or deceptive about the topic that you're being tested on. Well, I got to tell you, uh, uh, my HHS correspondent, Amisha, and I had an opportunity to take that test, and it was pretty. It was was pretty perfect. Uh, uh, what's the um, accuracy in terms of the percentages, um, Todd? So it is uh, eighty-eight to ninety percent accurate in terms of correctly classifying someone as being honest or deceptive about the topic uh, they were tested on. To put that into perspective with a traditional polygraph, a traditional polygraph ranges between uh, about 78% uh, and up to 85% accurate. It has a range because uh, with a traditional polygraph, you have a human being that is administering the test and interpreting the results. And with iDetect, the computer administers the test and then uses a computer algorithm to analyze the data that's collected uh, with an eye tracker during the test and, uh, and scores the results. You also think that eye detect is on the cutting edge for detecting COVID-19, the coronavirus, not only here in the United States, but also for uh, uh, new immigrants coming into the United States. How does that work? Yeah, so an eye detect test can cover really any topic that you can imagine. Um, prior to COVID-19, and even during COVID-19, it's been used for screening uh, individuals who are going to work in the intelligence uh, community uh, or perhaps law enforcement, where the hiring agency wants to know if these individuals have had issues in the past that would disqualify them for coming to work for the agency. In the case of COVID-19, um, we have a number of tests that can be used to verify if someone is being truthful about whether or not they have been exposed or whether or not they're coming from a location where there is a hot spot uh, and they could have been exposed. Uh, we have a number of governments um, that uh, uh, are wanting to use it in, in, the, in that situation. Uh, where someone may be inclined to lie because they know if they're truthful uh, about having been exposed, they they may not be granted entrance at that point in time or may have to be quarantined. So talk about the lie detector. What is the turnaround before you get the actual results and also the turnaround for COVID-19? Yeah, so any eye detect test um, uh, takes approximately 15 to 30 minutes, depending on uh, the number of topics that you're testing for. Um, during that test, we capture up to a million data points, and that data is analyzed by a computer algorithm in, in approximately uh, one to two minutes, where a score is generated indicating whether or not the person was deceptive or truthful on the given topics they were tested for. So it's... it's uh, near instantaneous once you finish uh, answering the questions. What, what, is, what are the flaws? I know you said 86%. What are the flaws, the 14%, where it's not always accurate? Yeah, so um, 
excuse me, the range is 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 88 to 90 percent. That means that out of 100 people, uh, if if you consider a 90 percent accuracy, you'll have 10 uh, that it either can't classify or will classify into the wrong the wrong categories. So you have a mix of false positives and a mix of false negatives. Uh, that's true for any of these technologies where it's trying to analyze from a physiological response uh, whether or not you're being truthful or not. So it's a data point. Um, we don't claim uh, that it's 100%. We have a number of customers that we use iDetect in conjunction with a separate independent tool such as a polygraph. And if you get the same result on the two independent tools, then you have a 99.5% uh, probability or outcome confidence that, that you got it right. So it's, it's uh, you know, another tool in your tool belt that you can use to, to help make a decision, but it's not 100%. How does this eye detect and this other technology that's out there can also assist with social distancing? Um, so, uh, the, tr the traditional polygraph, um, requires that a number of sensors be attached to the, to the body, uh, a strain gauge that goes across your chest and your abdomen, um, a pressure cup on your arm, uh, other sensors that get attached to your, to your hand, for example, to detect if you're starting to sweat. Um, those sensors uh, really require that uh, another individual attach them to to the subject to to the examinee. And um, one of the benefits of eye detect is uh, it doesn't <clears throat> require those sensors to be attached to your body. Um, a, a person being tested simply comes in and sits down in front of the computer, sits down in front of the eye tracker. Uh, they can can click a start button and simply touch a mouse to respond to the questions that are being presented. Uh, the mouse can be easily cleaned, <clears throat> excuse me, after the fact. And um, a test proctor, someone who's just ensuring that the person is following instructions, can actually manage that entire process remotely um, uh, in, in a separate room or in a socially distancing compliant way in the same room. Uh, uh, listen, and it's available in most places. Uh, is there a website? Yes, you can go to Converus.com, spelled C-O-N-V-E-R-U-S. Uh, how long before you think um, um, eye detect would be in the market, particularly when it comes to COVID-19 and the viruses that seem to be sweeping not only the world, but especially the United States? <laughs> Well, like I said, we have uh, we have clients uh, in 45 countries all over the world, uh, including here in the United States, that have been using iDetect during COVID-19 because it, it you know it can be used uh, in a social distancing uh, compliant way. Some of those organizations um, are using it for more of our traditional scenarios where they're testing for. You know, whether you're lying about uh, your previous activities, um, whether you have a drug problem, if it's a security clearance, uh, you know, whether you've engaged in activities that would disqualify you from getting that clearance. Some some of those governments that, that do use it for immigration related um, situations. So uh, to be able to to verify uh, if, for example, you're flagged as having terrorist ties, whether in fact you do have terrorist ties. And they're just now exploring whether or not uh, it makes sense in certain situations, like I said, to, to verify if, uh, if, you're, if you're coming from a hot spot, if you're not being truthful about where you're coming from. So we have one particular government that is looking at using this because individuals may attempt to enter the United States indirectly uh, through their country and um, they're lying about you know where they're coming from because they're coming from a hot spot that doesn't allow entrance and um, so unfortunately I can't disclose those uh, countries that are doing that but but it's currently um, in, in process as we speak how expensive is uh, I detect 
So the uh, the system itself is a standard computer with a specialized eye tracking camera, um, and it sells for approximately five thousand uh, dollars. We charge uh, on a per test basis uh, that is run, and uh, the the average cost is is in the neighborhood of about sixty dollars uh, for the test itself. Well, listen, I, I want to congratulate you on your product. We look forward to hear more about it in the future. Thank you so much for joining us for your voice, your future town hall. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of the Armstrong Williams Show. Uh, on behalf of all of us here at WGLA 24-7 and Howard Stuff Holdings, have a blessed day. I'm Armstrong Williams. <laughs>